Hey guys, in this screen of the week, we're going to look at the John Neff model, which we base on John Neff on investing. We call this model the low PE investor model. We'll first look at the methodology, why it works, the details behind it, and then I'll walk you through the screen. In this overview, we'll look at the model inspired by John Neff and the value model he developed, which is built on decades of experience and outperforming the market. The key fundamental investing insight is this. Investors sometimes overlook the importance of strong dividends and something called the total return ratio in beating the market over the long term. At a high level, the strategy looks for stocks with PEs that are between 40 to 60% of the market average. From there, it looks for firms with steady, sustainable EPS growth and positive cash flows. The source and the evidence behind the strategy, we base this on John Neff's book, John Neff on Investing. From 1964 to 1995, John Neff guided the Windsor Fund to a 13.7 average annual return, easily outpacing the S&P's return of 10.6% during that period of time. 3.1 percentage points of difference over such a long period of time makes a huge difference in compounding of returns. The investment thesis for this model is this. Looking at a firm's total return to P.E. ratio, which considers both the dividend yield and earnings growth rate, can be a superior method relative to standard valuation metrics in a way of identifying undervalued firms. Let's now take a look at Validia's low P.E. investor model, which is based on the methodology outlined in John Neff's book, John Neff on Investing. The first step in the model is to identify value stocks. To do that, the model looks for stocks that trade at a 40 to 60% discount to the market based on their P.E. ratios. Then it tries to find stocks with realistic long-term growth. The sweet spot here, especially for dividend paying stocks, is to look for stocks that have long-term earnings growth of between 7 and 20% over a long period of time. The model also looks at future growth, so it wants to see future sales and profit growth be reasonably healthy for the companies. Here it looks at analyst earnings consensus estimates, both the current year and long-term earnings estimates, and it wants them to be at least 6%. It also wants to see long-term sales growth of at least 7%. The key ratio in the model is the total return ratio. This brings together three key investing metrics, EPS growth, the dividend yield, and the price earnings ratio. So what the total return does is it takes EPS growth and adds that to the dividend yield and then divides that by the PE ratio. What it looks for is it wants to see stocks that have a total return ratio of at least double the market. This was one of the key metrics that Neff used in his investment process. And lastly, there's two bonus criteria. The model favors companies with free cash flow, and it also wants to see EPS persistence which is looking at the last four quarters of earnings and looking to see that those earnings have increased over the same quarters in the previous year. The low PE investor model provides value investors with a way to take into consideration both EPS growth and dividends into their assessment of investment opportunities in today's market. Okay, so let's take a look at the John Neff model and what stocks the model is favoring today. So we can go to the Guru Stock screener on Valia. That's under stock research. You can choose any of the gurus, but we're gonna focus on the John Neff model, which we call the low PE model on the site. And then we're gonna select stocks that score summer strong interest, which is essentially stocks that score 80% or better according to the underlying strategy. Let's scroll down and see how many stocks we're presented with and what types of names we get. Okay, so it's a reasonable list, uh, maybe a little bit too long for someone to deal with. So how might we narrow this further? Well. What we're going to do here is we're going to add in stocks that pass at least four other strategies with strong or some interest. So what we're doing here is we're adding in a number of other distinct guru models, which all look at different types of fundamentals. But we're basically saying, let's look for stocks that pass the John Neff model and also four other strategies at the same time. So here's the list. Some of the names might look familiar to you. Uh, they pass at least four other models and the Neff model. These tend to be larger cap companies in nature, as you can see from the market cap. There's multiple value ratios here. And as you can see, most of these stocks look cheap according to things like the PE, price to sales, price to book, price to cash flow. We have long-term earnings growth in there and a couple other fields. And don't forget, you can continue to narrow this down using the filters above. Thank you very much. We hope you found this valuable. Please check out the Guru Stock Screener. See you next week.